Grace and peace. I am Pastor Renee Teague, the pastor of Enon United Methodist Church in Studley, Virginia, and I hope that you've had a great day and that you're planning a great evening and a great day tomorrow. We've had a couple of conversations today and talked some about how um, kind of discouraged we are. You know, when is it going to be over? When are things going to change? Blah, 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 blah. You've thought all these things, I'm sure. And so we were talking about the difference in being and doing. And right now it leaves us with the idea that all we can do is be. There's nothing for us to do, you know, because we're not supposed to be out doing this or that. You know, you set out to do something and then you need something else and you don't really feel comfortable going to the store. And anyway, you, you know how that is. Well, today's Upper Room devotional was following the scripture. Um, instead, we are God's accomplishment, created in Christ Jesus to, good, to do good things. God planned for these good things to be the way that we live our lives. Ephesians 2.10 We are God's accomplishment, created to do good things. It's important for us to remember and some of these days that all kind of blur together as the same, that these are not days without purpose. Each of us has gifts. We have things that we did and that we were gifted with and things that we were called to do before the world went crash. But God didn't go crash. God still has purpose and plans things for us to do. Now, they may be different than we were doing before. You know, maybe you were baking and fixing food and taking it to people. Maybe you were fixing dinners at church. Maybe you were doing all those kinds of things and now the building is closed. Maybe you sang in the choir or you were part of a Sunday school class. You had all of these important churchy things you did and now they aren't happening, are they? Well, those things are human things. The God part of all of this, God still has gifts within you and purpose in your life that God needs for each of us to share with the world. We're to share. God has created us in Christ Jesus to do good things. I hope this week you can join me in praying that God will show us what it is we're called to do and, and continue to show us what it is the church is called to do. What is our part? What, how were we wired within? Try not to use all of your energy on these great big things. Now, maybe you're one of those great big people, but I didn't know any of those were following this YouTube. But, you know, some there's some great big people with all of these important things that they do. And then there are those of us that, you know, I can't really impact which laws get passed or don't pass. And I can't really impact systemic change, not in a, a great big way. So if I'm spending all of my time worrying about that, I'm worrying about things that God has not called me to do. Whatever God has called me to do, whatever purpose God has for my life today, God has given me the tools and the gifts to do those things. So I need to get most of my energy focused on what am I supposed to do that is good and right in the world that I can do. Not how can I be God and correct everything, but how, how can I be faithful to what God made me to be, to do what God asked me to do. Um, I came across this hymn. You know, I'm into these old hymnals right now. I came across this hymn, and I don't think it's, I mean, it's in some of the newer hymnals, but you know, a new hymnal is still 60 years old. Um, where He Leads Me. I can hear my Savior calling. I can hear my Savior calling. I can hear my Savior calling. Take thy cross and follow, follow me. Where he leads me, I will follow. 
Where he leads me, I will follow. Where he leads me, I will follow. I'll go with him, with him, all the way. God is always leading. God is always calling and providing. And there is purpose for this day. Amen.